Senator Reid, what a perfect night. It's Cranston, it's summertime. We're celebrating New Park. Uh, congratulations, your hometown. How far away did you grow up from here? I grew up about, uh, about three or four miles, Pontiac Avenue. Right. But this is this is where you're from. This is your roots. Oh, yeah. No, Knightsville is a part of Cranston, a big part of Cranston. As always, we appreciate your time. We're always going to ask you about foreign policy questions. Um, to many Americans, the United States support of the Ukraine effort crossed sort of a, a line this week with the announcement that the U.S. would support cluster munitions in the Ukraine and actually sh deliver them to them. What are your thoughts on all of that? Well, uh, Ukraine is at a critical moment. Uh, they have to be successful in this offensive. And uh, these systems will provide them additional firepower. Uh, the problem is it leaves residual uh, munitions on the battlefield that don't explode. So along with uh, the plans to use them, we have to have plans to basically go in and clean it up afterwards. And that should be quite possible what we're doing. One of the controversies is something called the dud rate, which is essentially which munitions are left a la many landmines in the soil. Uh, President Biden has adhered strictly to a 99% explosion rate, uh, less than 1% dead rate. The, the challenge is, and, and I can't speak to this, I, I, I'm, not a military, I'm not a veteran, I don't have your experience, but in the in the chaos of war, with another country's armed forces in control of this, is it reasonable to expect that they will conform to the rules that they've agreed to? And I'm talking about the Ukraine. Oh, I think it, they will conform. The Ukrainians have been very careful to abide by all of the conditions that we put on our aid and also NATO aid. Uh, and they understand that's critical because if not, then we will be less willing to provide the aid. So they're very careful about that. The problem in the battlefield today where they're fighting, there are the Russians have been indiscriminately placing mines. Right. They, so this is one aspect of a problem of undetonated munitions that already exist. And I think the basic calculus was this kind of firepower would help the Ukrainians to break through, shorten the fighting, and save, hopefully, lives going forward. Last question. Is, is, are, are there discussions in place on how to resolve the mining nightmare that the Russians are leaving behind? As far as from the United States support perspective? We have experience doing that. The question is, we have to have a, essentially a cessation of hostility so we can focus on removal from the battlefield of unexploded ordnance. And again, the hope is that with the success by the Ukrainian forces, we'll compel the Russians to cease fighting and we can now start working on the long term to stable peace as well as clearing the battlefield. Senator, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations.